All right, guys, welcome back once again for another broadcast. This is week two in the Super Championship Football League. New England comes into town to visit the 0-1 uh, Bills. Now, the Jets, Bills, and Patriots all lost. I can guarantee you one thing coming out of this game. Either the Bills are going to be 1-1 one one, or New England is going to be 1-1. One one. Let's take a look at the schedule from week one. Who was your winners? Who were your losers? The Pittsburgh Steelers defeat New England. All right. Green Bay defeats, uh, or Green Bay is beaten by Chicago. I apologize. The Chiefs shut out the Texans. Cleveland is your winner over the Jets. Indy defeats Buffalo. As we uh, witnessed, we actually saw that one. Miami defeats uh, Washington. The Jaguars lose to Carolina. And the Rams lose to Seattle. So the Dolphins and the Steelers walk away as winners. The Bills, Jaguars, and Rams all, away, all walk away as losers. Those are the five teams we are in control of. Uh, continuing on, though, Saints defeat Cardinals. Detroit over San Diego. Tennessee defeats Tampa Bay. Cincinnati over Oakland. Denver defeats Baltimore. The Dallas Cowboys defeat the New York Giants. And Philly defeats Atlanta. And the Monday night game was, well, the second Monday night game, I mean, San Francisco defeats Minnesota. So things look to be on par for what we're hoping for this season. Uh, again, there is now a chance that... Uh, the New England Patriots can start 0-2. All that has to happen is I have to have the game of my life at quarterback. Because, guys, I am the quarterback. I, I, it's the way it is. We have three of us, that me and my two other friends. One of them is the running back for the Dolphins. One of them is the backup quarterback for the Steelers, actually. He's, he's backing up Ben until Ben retires. And, uh, well, there's nobody in front of me in, in Buffalo, and it's going to be a good game. And I kind of want to wear throwbacks. Eh. Kind of just want to wear the standing Buffalo helmet, maybe, if that's possible. With the normal helmet? Yeah. There we go. Like that. Just like that. Alright guys. Let's do this. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got a couple of big targets who will try to be key contributors in both the pass and run games today. It's Gronkowski's Bill going up against Eifert's Patriots. Now let's head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this week two battle. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two AFC East teams about to collide as we join you from Ralph Wilson Stadium. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. You just have to love these types of games because there's just so much bad blood. There's such a deep rivalry here. The spirit is intense, and these teams will do anything to beat the other team. Well, they will, and you, we know that. It, it, it's just more attention to the details for the players during the week, and also you got to be ready for great plays. The coaches, they want to try to fool the other team, give their team an edge, so you got to be ready for fake punts, fake kicks all during the game. 
White's going to be deep here for the opening kick. And Sebastian Janikowski looks ready to get this one underway. This game is underway. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. Well, it's important to get off to a good start this time for the quarterback. Not only did he lose last week, but he also played awful. Probably the biggest reason why they lost the game. This has got to be a blitz. Look how everybody's crowding the line of scrimmage. First down at the 20. They got him behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Gordon's in the backfield. Single back set. He'll go ground. Gordon's tackled down after a gain of 10. The Patriots want to convert here, especially after last week's abysmal performance in third down situations. The Patriots have it in the 29. Right back to him once more. Gains 19. Gordon is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. First down at the 48. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. They must keep our eye on the defense. If they keep giving up runs like this, they're going to have to change what they're doing on the defensive side. Maybe bring another guy down in the box to stop those runs. The Patriots will take the snap from the 45. Pass is intercepted. Running room. No one's going to get him now. The 10 going to take it home for the touchdown. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The Patriots have to still be thinking about that last possession. They were actually moving down the field. And then, of course, the untimely interception ended things. Yeah, the defense, look, they got good players. And, you know, you give them enough chances, they're finally going to make the play. You have to be careful with the football. The offense was not. And that's why it resulted in an interception. What do you think they're talking about in that huddle after that drive-killing interception? They're, they're probably telling the quarterback, if you do that again, we're going to kick you out. I don't know. But they, they got to play better. First down at the 20. It's caught by Kevin White. Breaks at the tackle. White's taken down at the 40. That's his first reception today. Trying to get extra yards after the catch. And when you can break tackles like this, that's an excellent job by the wide receiver. The Bills' defense now is going to go nickel. First and 10. Gordon's going to take the handoff now. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of four on the play. The Patriots now it at the 36. Gordon's marked down after a gain of four. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. And with that, let's take a look at the Patriots offense. 
will be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. The Patriots will take the snap from the 40. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. There is nothing like having a great tight end on your offense now. There's so many things you can do with them. Remember, they're in the middle of the field. They can go down the middle. They can go outside. They can go short. They can go across. They can go out. Tough to cover the tight ends in this league now. Touchdown, New England Patriots. That's his first touchdown pass of the season. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The extra point will put them up by one. Driving extra point is good. The Bills back now for the return. Going to look to try and get back on top. Scores 7-6. to six. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. First down at the 35. He's got a wide open alley. McCoy taken down. That's going to be a pickup of about five. Well, we don't see this too often. This is a speed back, but a good job that time just running right through the tackle and breaking it. The Bills will take the snap from the 40. McCoy has it out of the eye. McCoy's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Third down and one. McCoy secures it on the toss. McCoy is able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. The Patriots with a nickel look here on defense. The Bills come to the line, and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. First down and 10. Running room. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot. Another first down, and they are moving down the field. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. The Bills. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. That's his first touchdown catch of the season. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. So many things you can do from the two-yard line now in the NFL. All the teams can spread you out. They can run it. The quarterback can keep it. The pick plays, the passes, very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. There's been no shortage of big plays today with this quarterback at the helm, Phil. Oh, my gosh, what an arm this quarterback has. How about these throws down the field? Not only are they far down the field and beautiful, they're right on target. And the good thing is he has receivers who can take advantage of his arm. Lined up in a single back formation. First down at the 20. That's a gain of eight. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Run now. 
that time. When you run the ball like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The Patriots break huddle and show a jumbo look. Second down, two to go. Martin's all over that offense and brings him down. The Bills guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. Third down on the way. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. From the gun. And they sack him on third down. And they force the quick three and out. When you blitz on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there and they sack the QB. Johnson's going to make the fair catch this time. The Patriots defense comes back onto the field. Did not look so good that last series, giving up the touchdown. Oh, you know the coaches are upset. My gosh, they ran some of the most elementary defenses that you can run, and they had mistakes by the defensive players. So they coach them up on the sidelines. We'll see if we see different results. McCoy is a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short Let's game. Play. Second down and six. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. Tackled right around midfield. The Patriots defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Snap it out of the gun. Looking across the middle. That's a gain of seven. That's his first reception today. Receivers get scared sometimes running that slant route. They know their linebackers inside running towards them because they're watching the quarterback's eyes. The Bills offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. He sends the halfback in motion. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. McCoy is met after a gain of three. He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. The Bills lead here in the first half, but the run game has been stagnant. McCoy has been unable to shake free at any point. No, he has not been able to shake free. And listen, sometimes you just can't worry about it. you got to do whatever it takes to win. If you can't run it, then just keep throwing the football. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. The Bills get a first down. Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes the catch, and you got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, they're usually the closest receiver to the quarterback. Quarterback gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. McCoy. Houston's the one who made the big stop. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Bills snap it at the 31. Makes the catch. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are saying, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. Uh, it's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. you got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. Johnson's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Marshall's there to make the tackle. The Patriots' defense has to be demoralized by that fourth down conversion allowed. I think any time on the defensive side when you give up a fourth down conversion, it is heartbreaking, and it has to be heartbreaking for the defense right now. Now first and ten. McCoy looking out wide. Takes it the distance for the touchdown. Touchdown. 
Another touchdown early in the second quarter. And Phil, we met with this team and the coaches. Did you have any idea they were going to come out with this kind of start? No, I didn't, Jim. They, they're doing a terrific job on the offensive side and scoring those points. I, I love what they're doing on the defensive side. Hey, when it's not working, you know what you do? You change game plans. That's what I want to see from the defense. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the kickoff. Gordon's got a chance to return this one. Gordon's tackled down at the 22. That returns good for about 15. The Patriots got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession, and here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and give a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. The Bills lined up in the nickel. They're trying to confuse the offense here. Look at everybody crowd the line of scrimmage. Foster offense. That leads us to second down. Kevin White with the catch. He's in the clear. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, and in for the touchdown. Nice catch by the rookie wide receiver, and how about that? His first receiving touchdown in the NFL. He is so talented, there is no doubt he's going to have a lot more. The Patriots for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Bills kickoff return team is on the field. After seeing their defense surrender some points, the score's 21 to 14. He's brought to a halt. That return's good for about 25. The Bills come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the plays that they need, need to be called because of the situations, and the quarterback has been hot throwing the football. Two tight ends on the field here. And now he'll take off. He knocks the ball out of his hands. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game in his third and long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. White's got it on the return. And gains maybe four. The Patriots offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. That was a solid touchdown drive. Yeah, just look at them, Jim. The way they run onto the field, you can see they're exuding confidence. And when you got a confident football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. Out of the gun. On target with Tyler Eifert. Right 
right now this team is losing Phil but they've had some positives they've been able to move the football through the air a lot of good positives on the offensive side yeah no complaints from anybody everybody there is doing a good job you got to look at the defense and go hey pick it up a little our offense is hot just help them out a little the Patriots offensive coordinator he has to be frustrated by that play I think he calls the right play but what happens to run loses yards that's just a bad job by the offensive line third down and six finds his mark Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. That's his first reception today. Quarterbacks always love play-action passes. Why? Because it usually gives them a little more time to throw. When you get more time, you're going to make a better decision, and you're going to be more accurate. The Patriots nap it at the 31. And they'll end up losing four here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Patriots will take the snap from the 35. And they get the sack. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback. And the best person to do it is the defensive end. What a good job that time by him. The Patriots have lined up. Bunch formation. False start, and that sets the offense back five yards. Yeah, you, hey, listen, false start. It, it can be the false little start. thing, a little false flinch. And it, it doesn't look like much. But everybody in the stadium can see it, and so can the officials. Third down after the penalty. The Patriots at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Incompletion here as he was looking over the middle. The Patriots put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long, and they were ready for it. They have just flipped field position thanks to that punt, and now the offense is really backed into a corner. As we get ready to start this drive, partner, talk about the main reasons why this offense has been able to stake themselves to this lead early. Well, it always starts with the offensive line performing well. Then you get an offensive coordinator that has confidence in the play. Intercepted! Tackles made. Give a lot of credit to the defense this time. They got the offense backed up. It's inside its own 20. They're aggressive. And being aggressive gives them a chance to get the interception, and they make it. Nice play. Gordon's taking the handoff. Oh, my gosh. It is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football, and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. Patriots in for the score. Jackson's second touchdown of the game. And at the closing moments of the first half, these teams are all even once again. A lot of good things have happened for both teams, so I think when you go in at halftime, if it goes in tied up, I think both coaches are going to be happy with the situation right here at halftime. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. And no return as this goes for a touchback. The Patriots defense got the pick the last time on the field. Yeah, really nice call there in the game. That's how you manage it. That's how you get out of trouble. Make a good play call in the defense. They took advantage of it, came up with the interception. The Bills head to the line. Second quarter of a tie game. The scores 21 to 21. Now makes the move to the right. He's tackled right at the 24. Half time, two minutes away. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. The Patriots defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Takes off with it. David takes down the quarterback. They immediately call for a timeout. After that defensive timeout, we're ready for action. Get 
Third and forever. Heading into the half, this defense was looking for something to build on, and it just got it. Oh, did they ever. They needed some positive reinforcement before halftime came around. They finally got it. That should make them feel a little bit better going into the locker room. White's got it now. Clemens is there to take him down. That return's good for about 10. The Patriots' offense has played a magnificent first half of football here. But look, at halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made by both teams on the defensive side. And I don't know what they do. I would just start out with this. Just be more aggressive and get those players into the game. First down at the 40. And it's incomplete. Just can't hold on that time. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Second down and 10. Third down now. The Bills with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Two hands on the football and has the catch. That's his third catch of the day. While this game is tied, the passing attack has been on go. So moving forward, Phil, they have to like the situation the rest of the way. Oh, they love the situation on the offensive side, Jim. The, the coach is over there. He doesn't know which play to call because every taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short, accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run, nice catch. Touchdown. The Patriots for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. The Bills haven't had a very productive drive in quite a while here, Phil. Do they need to switch things up to get this train rolling again? Absolutely. Switch it up. Switch up the play call. Show some different formations. Try to catch the defense by surprise. If you do that, that's going to greaten your chances of having success. First down at the 20. Blackman's going to pull in the bullet pass. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. He'll take the snap from the gun. And it's swatted away. Second down following that incompletion. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. It's Gronkowski. Fights through contact. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The Bills signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. First down on the way. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Makes the reception. And he steps out of the field to play. That's his first reception today. Good job that time by the ball carrier. Picking up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds and stop the clock. First and goal from the 10. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. 
That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not if he will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. The Bills decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. The Bills now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. From the shotgun, thought about it, still has it. Bills in for the score. Finding the end zone for the first time this season. That's a wonderful catch by the receiver, getting his first touchdown of his rookie year. And and making that catch, that is the first of many to come for him. The Patriots will get the ball back in a tie game. First half coming to a close. Scores 28 to 28. Gordon's got it. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense is in rhythm. Coming back out for another drive. The last two times they've had it, they found the end zone. Their rhythm, they make, they're making it look easy. Jim, it's like watching you dance. You have such great rhythm. It looks like you're not even working at it. So that's how it looks for the, this offense here today. Gordon is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. A first half that featured offensive explosions galore and can officially be considered a shootout. Larry Ridley coming up next to break down the action. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. As we look at the numbers, the only thing that really matters is that we've got a tie game. We'll have another half here to figure out who can come out on top. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Pick it up early in the first. The pass ends up being picked off. Fields would then turn it around for the touchdown. Fields going up by six. Patriots lined up at the 38. Here he'll look into the end zone, and it leads to a touchdown. They go up by one. Fields have it at the four. Quick pass, and he finds Brock. Brock Gronkowski. After the short pass, he'll score. That puts them up by a touchdown. Fields take it early in the second. McCoy is looking for room to run, and he cap off the 11th play drive with a TD. That puts them on top by 14. Now midway through the second. And he'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to their own 13-yard line. Vincent Jackson making the catch. And after the short pass, he'll score. We're all square at 21. Staying late in the half. Holmes is wide open here on the catch. And a quick three-play drive ends with a score. That takes the lead up to seven. Staying late in the half. The connection will be made from the gun. And this will go all the way for a touchdown, continuing a wild first half. So that's going to wrap up our halftime report. We'll get you back now to Ralph Wilson Stadium where Jim Nance and Bill Sands are on the call. Back now at what is one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL, Ralph Wilson Stadium. Jim Nance, Bill Sims, Danielle Bellini for the beginning of the third quarter. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. The Patriots allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. And now here's the first snap of the second half. The Bills continue to battle, but they haven't been able to figure out how to run the football. McCoy struggled from the very start. Jimmy has. It's just not been a good day running the football, but I'll say it again. I say it many times. you got to be patient. It's hard for guys like me or fans to understand that, so the offensive coordinator has got to stay with the game plan. What we're seeing so many times now in this league is the tight ends are getting so good 
that they have to condense the pass coverage to make sure they stop them and it's opening up the wide receivers to have a better chance to catch the football first down at the 48 gets the handle here now they take the football onto the opponent side of the field when you run the football like this and you show toughness there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done tackle but not until he picked up the first down McCoy is a very smart runner he knows situations in the game he saw the first down yard markers and what does he do he gets past them and picks up the first down at the line of scrimmage the 41 first and 10 he runs with it right up the gut. There's nothing more dangerous in the NFL these days, Phil, than a quarterback who can beat you both running and throwing the football. Yeah, what we're watching here today, the guy, let's just admit it, Jim, he's too good. If you're on defense, you just got to hope somebody on the offensive side makes a mistake, has a penalty, something to slow this quarterback down. Good coverage by Sherman that time as the pass goes incomplete. We see it so often nowadays. All quarterbacks moving around the pocket. That time he gets outside the pocket, but as he looks down the field, nowhere to throw it, nobody open. Just another incomplete pass. These two offenses went up and down the field in the first half but it appears some of those defensive adjustments at the intermission are paying early dividends. Yeah, I think the defense went in there and they took the knowledge that they gained during the first half. The plays, they saw them, they reacted to them differently here in the second half, and they got better results. That drive early in the third quarter leads to a field goal and the lead. Yeah, it's a good thing to get the lead. No question about that. I think the uh, a lot of people are happy about that. But looking over on the sideline, the coaches, they're not happy. They're hoping this field goal doesn't come back to bite them and cost them the game. Let's go. First down at the 20. Gordon's got it on the handle. The Patriots have had a tough time running the football here today. Gordon's having another tough outing, and it's something that's certainly affecting the entire offense. Oh, well, sure it's affecting the offense when you're getting overpowered. Listen, this offense likes to run the football. They need to adjust. they got to find a different way to get it done. And they take him down. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. they got to be a pass rusher, uh, a pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. Throws the pass. Incomplete. And this is going to be a three and out. Midway through the third quarter. And this defense makes the play of the game. Yeah, it was a nice play that time by the defense. And you know, sometimes it's just about want to. Do you want to make the play? Are you willing to sacrifice and hustle enough to get it done? Well, the answer is yes. Johnson's not going to test the coverage here as he makes the fair catch. Now, as we see the numbers, a lot of credit goes to the coaching staff for not giving up on the run game. It wasn't working early, but has paid off late. Jim, you were right that time. The coaching staff, they've shown a lot of patience to stay with the run game. The offensive line, of course, they're playing better. They're tough, and now they're finally getting it done. The Bills come out in the pistol. First down at the 45. It's wide open. You worry about injuries with your quarterback, but when he runs the football at will like this, how do you not call his number again? Well, you keep calling his number, and you hope your quarterback is smart enough not to take chances to get that extra yard or two like your NFL running back. Get down to the ground when the play is over. In the end, it picks up only a yard. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times, and we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. The Bills snap it at the 36. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Johnson's trying to find a way to pick up that short yardage situation on third down, but the defense does an outstanding job 
on especially the defensive line. Nowhere to run and no first down. Way to come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them and they gave up the field goal. And a touchback. The Patriots came out today and it really looked like the running game would be big for them, but it's fallen off a bit. Gordon's had less space to maneuver as this game's gone on. Yeah, let's give the defense a little credit. They finally said, okay, we got to find a way to stop this running game. They changed the defense a little bit, and it's worked. The Patriots at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. Tyler Eifert has the grab. Just look at what the quarterback has done in this game, but it's not enough at this point to be leading in this game, Phil. Yeah, he's going to look at the stat line and say, hey, he had an outstanding game, but they got to find a way to win. It just tells you it's not all about the quarterback. The team has to all play together. With it. That's his fourth catch of the day. The Patriots look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. The Bills sat at the line. Dime package. First and ten. Gordon's going to secure the handle. Offense has not been hard to find in this one, Phil. These guys are making it look too easy out there, and I can tell you from experience, and we all know it's not that easy, but I'll tell you this, fun to watch. Second down here. It's a two tight end formation. Gordon's handed the football. And it's McDonald there to meet him. Well, I know in a situation like this, here's what you have to do. You have to call a play that at least gives you a chance to pick up the first down. If it's not there, then you tell the quarterback to throw it short. The Patriots have it at the 34. Jackson's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. The Patriots, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And, Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You've got, you're got you down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Play number six coming up on this drive. Second and 11. Jackson's got it on a pass that had some heat. Jackson's marked down at the 19. You love to see somebody bounce back. After not being a factor last week, we're seeing a wide receiver who knows how to get right back into it. Yeah, he was eager to get back out on the field again this week, Jim. He's anxious to go out there and do well, and so far today, he has been awesome. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. The defense accepts the penalty. Still first down. Coming to the line at the 27. Gordon's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Gordon's taking the handoff. Gordon's brought down after picking up 14 on the play. We're about to start the fourth, and this game feels like it's coming down to whichever offense has the ball last. Yeah, I think I have to agree with that. The defenses have been horrendous all day long. Yes, the offenses, they're playing well. They're scoring a lot of points, but you're right. Whoever has the football last, I like their chances of winning this game. This is third down. Bills defense now is going to go nickel. 
the corner step back the reception by Tyler Eifert the Patriots just picked up a big first down that time Jim when you're down in the second half every first down is crucial nice job that time by the offense first and goal to the ground now cutting to the right side looking for some open space He's averaged about two yards a carry on the day. The Patriots, they can do it all. Once they get in the red zone, they have the passes, the screens. They can throw it down to the back of the end zone. And how about that play? They can run the football right at you if they want to. And that time, they picked up some, some good yards on that run. And he's in for the touchdown. When you look back at every single game, especially on the offensive side, you win and lose games by how well you play in the red zone. That was an awesome job by the offense. They found a way to score the touchdown. The Bills set up for the kick return. They've just lost the lead, so need to try and respond. Scores 35 to 34. Johnson's gonna run this one out. Tackle just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. The Bills bring their offense onto the field. The last time they had control of the football, they did not come away empty handed, but did not get a touchdown either. Well, they got that field goal, and I think that's important. That field goal gave them a intercepted. bring him to the turf. Even with all the scoring we've seen, a defense now steps up and makes the biggest play of this game as we start the fourth quarter. Yeah, they, they went out there and they finally made a play. Man, did that take a long time to see the defense step up, but not too late. Good play, good interception. Looking at the quarterback matchup, it's a tight game, but these two guys have been going in opposite directions today. I was always told this by my coach in the NFL. Sims, on Monday, they only want to know one thing. Did you win or did you lose? They don't care about the statistics. Let's go. Look out here. They're going to blitz. They're all packing the line of scrimmage. Gordon's got it. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of three on the play. The Bills come out in a dime package. The Patriots have it at the 24. And now he'll slide. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. From the shotgun, Gordon's got it. Screen play. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. The kick is good. When you get great field position, Jim, you got to take advantage of it. The offense didn't do it. I blame the coach. Those were terrible play calls, but a good kick by the kicker. And a touchback here. We'll bring the ball out to the 20. The Bills offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. Double tight end formation. Second and six. He has the grab. Taken down at the 45. The Bills did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. 
it leads to a score. They need to get the playoff. Here's the handoff. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. He's averaging about four yards a carry. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The line of scrimmage, the 48. Delay of game will cost him five. Delay of game, offense. Still second down. The Patriots with a nickel look here on defense. Second and nine. With the contact, the ball comes out. Boy, it's tough when you're a quarterback or a coach and you see a receiver drop a pass because we know it's hard to design plays that work. It's hard to get open in the NFL, but don't get down. Uh, you're not. The game is not perfect. Find a way to get the football back to that guy so he can make the catch and get going again. I thought the way this game was going, Phil, that the two punters in this game wouldn't even have to go into the locker room when it was over and even take a shower. Well, that tells you a lot about what's been going on out here today. It has been an offensive explosion. No question, but finally a defense decided they had had enough and they found a way to get off the field. Room to work. The Bills look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Let's go. First down and 10. with an interception. What a time for an interception in the fourth quarter. These offenses could not be stopped throughout the game, but in the fourth, finally, a defensive play. To be successful on the defensive side, I think the number one quality you must always have, and that is to be aggressive. I don't know where it's been all day, but it finally showed up, and they got the pick. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. And it's batted down. One team's running the football, the other is passing, but both are working with their game plans. Yeah, they both are working. As you look down there on the field, one set of running backs are really happy. On the other side, the wide receiver group, they're really happy. So as long as you get it done, that's all that matters. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And he's going to be dropped for the sack. That's going to bring up fourth down after just a three-play series. The defense steps up and gets it into the hands of the offense midway through the fourth. Now here comes the offense, which has been executing all day long. Well, what they wanted, they finally got a defensive stop. Now if the offense can come out there, take advantage of it and score, boy, but that puts some pressure on the other team. The kicking team recovers, and here they go. The Bills defense would like to repeat what it did the last drive, not being out there too long, just three plays and forcing a punt. Well, they're going back out there. They're fresh, man. And the defensive line, the defensive front, they were, and he's thrown to the ground. Defense now signaling for a timeout. Coming to the line at the 37. Defense crowd the line of scrimmage. Look out, this could be a blitz. The Patriots from the 37. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. That's a gain of only a yard. On the way, third down. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game.
It'll be third down. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. Drop back, shotgun formation. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. That's his first reception today. The Patriots really got it going down. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. Quarters formation here for the defense. And Weddle is able to bring it to an end. Offside. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. First down here. is down. Neutral zone infraction. Defense. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. from the seven takes it from the eye Clemens is gonna make the tackle give no surprise there you got the lead it's late in the game you run the football make that clock keep ticking and you go over these situations so many times in practice you got to manage the clock no much time you got left they've done that well and just keep running it they came in here trying to exorcise all of the demons from that loss a week ago, but instead they have to walk away short of victory again. Yeah, boy, it's going to be tough to take. They put so much, so much emotion in trying to change things around this week, and you, when you do that, that's tough to overcome. So they're going to have to go back, reload. A just bullshit to way to end the game. But... First off, okay, he, he muffs the punt. Okay, I can see it. But he falls on top of the football. Check out game prep before this Should have automatically picked up the football, but no. It just completely misses and allows uh, New England to pick up the ball and carry on with it themselves. So it's just a bullshit way to end the game. I am beyond pissed. Anyway, guys... Uh, See you next time for week three.